been a joy to be honest with you. Like, ever, this, the run that we've been on, um, how hard everyone's worked. We've had a few things thrown at us over the course of the way, but you know we've stuck together through thick and thin. And when we've had good moments, we've enjoyed them. When we've had negative moments, we've learnt from them. But it's, it's, been, it's been an amazing journey, and um, I'm incredibly proud of everyone. We've worked hard week in, week out, and it's only what we deserve as a team. We've put in the effort and it showed. We've got results and that's all we needed to do. I was on the bench when I and I was speaking to my mate Jade on the side and I said if I come on I'm going to score and she said if you do you've got to do a knee slide. And so I did. That has to be the aim to be in the top the top league but also competing. There's been a lot of you know learning from that first season with the group of players that were there. Um, you know we didn't know what we were going into that first year and also Matt has come in and he's brought in his players with them that have strengthened the squad. Uh, and then Matt himself has obviously been a title winning manager and he's had that experience and know-how to get us over the line. So, yeah, there's a, there's a combination of factors, but all of those have definitely played key roles. You know, the ambition, as always, to, to be to go up. You know, I wasn't, on my remit wasn't to go up this year. We had a two-year plan to do that, but to do it year one was, was great. The fan base is only going to continue to grow because of product next year on the pitch with ourselves and the teams that we're going to play is going to be much better and you know fans will become we are to come and see some of the world's best players because we have the world's best players in our in our country playing so it's uh, it's an exciting time for women's football we all knew when we came in in september that like we wanted to get to the top division and as jorgen said in his interview it's like where the girls need to be this club it's a great club and it's a very big club so we know what to expect i've been there beardy's been there and a lot of the girls have been there so we'll know what to expect going up and we'll work hard in pre-season and be ready. Any plans for Sunday night or are you going to be going from here straight to watch the Derby? After we've lifted the cup, if we've got time, I'll go to the Derby and then I'll go back and meet the girls. But I can't be missing the men's games at the minute, they're too intense. Yeah, I've got a message from, from, from Jürgen. Um, obviously, saying what a fantastic achievement. Um, enjoy the party. <laughs> this weekend's about us and me and my team, so maybe I might have to miss the derby. We'll, I'll decide in a few days. It, I, I'm still in two minds and decisive. Will you be emulating the Hendo Shuffle on Sunday? Yeah, I know. I've been getting this a, a good few questions. Bo Kearns has been on about me and, and she's saying now, she's changing her mind now. She doesn't know which, which one I should do. So um, we'll, well, I have to decide. It's not, it's not been uh, discussed properly 100% yet.